Hello, and today I'm going to be doing dot com secrets. Like and subscribe. Now, before I sell you on why you need to be thinking about your company in terms of funnels, I want you to understand that my approach wasn't always this detailed. When I first got started online over a decade ago, there was a lot less competition. I could have a front-end product, and I spent $1 on ads and make $2 back in return. But as more people started businesses online and competition started to grow, ad costs went up, the consumer's buying resistance also went up, and it got harder to sell. People I know who are making millions of dollars a year are no longer in business because they didn't adapt and change with the times. When I started to feel the pinch, I was lucky enough to have some amazing mentors who taught me the importance of building a deeper funnel with more offerings. The deeper your funnel is, and the more things you can offer to your clients, the more each customer will be worth to you. And the more they are worth to you, the more you can spend to acquire them. Remember this truth by Dan Kennedy. Ultimately, the business that can spend the most to acquire a customer wins. So basically, like, you want to adapt to the times and not just stay where you are, or else, like, you're gonna, like, just, like, fall, like, just get out of business. And a part of prescription and asset kids are two books that my mom I and my brother made. Asset kids is on how kids can help their parents and to be assets. And a part of prescription is a book of how my mom went from being adopted to buying fifty apartments. They're both on Amazon so you can learn more about them there. Okay. I hope like that and if you're watching this on YouTube, please subscribe if you haven't already. And if but if you're not watching this on YouTube, just share this with someone so that they can know more about our books. And okay, I hope like that. If you did, second subscribe. Bye.